सो आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक वुड बी कन्वर्जन ऑफ एग्जैक्ट डेसिमल नंबर्स टू द डेनरी नंबर्स एज वी ऑल नो डेट बेस वैल्यू ऑफ एग्जा डेसिमल नंबर इज सिक्सटीन सो सिक्सटीन रेस्ट टू पार जीरो इज इक्वल टू वन सिक्सटीन रेस्ट टू दि पार वन equals to 16 16 raised to the power 2 equals to 256 and so on the values will be increasing so we will take an example that 4 5a this is a hexadecimal number and we will convert this into denary number so first of all find the indices of these integers a is placed at zero index 5 is placed at one index and Four is placed at second index. These are the indices. This one, this one, and this one. As a is equivalent to ten, or the value of a is equal to ten in the denary value. So we have to multiply the values with their end. With the index indices, four. It is placed at second index, so index value two. So sixteen raised to the power two is two fifty six. We will multiply four into two fifty six plus five. Will uh, multiply by sixteen, and a equals to ten, so ten will be multiplied by one. So four into two fifty six. When we will calculate this, its value will be one zero two four plus five into sixteen will be eighty. And ten multiplied by one will be ten. So when we add all of these values, it will be it will sum up to one thousand one hundred and fourteen. So this is our denary value. We have converted, which is equivalent to four five a hexadecimal value. This is our denary, and this is hexa. So for your practice, you have to solve C eight F. Now we will convert denary to hexa decimal numbers. For example, we take a value that is also mentioned in your book. That is two thousand and four. Simply, we have to divide this value with hexadecimal base value. That is sixteen.
so we will do division 2004 will be divided by 16 this division will be same as we have done in the previous binary conversion so 16 1 4 will be remaining and it will be 40 16 2 and the remaining that would be 5 remainder will be 4 then we will multiply by uh, divided again by 16 that would be 7 and remainder will be 13 then again 16 that will be 0 over here and remainder will be 7 so from uh, bottom to top we will arrange these values that would be 7 13 and 4 7 is below 10 and 4 is below 10 so in hexadecimal when it is equivalent to 10 then it will is it is a 11 will be b 12 will be c and 13 will be d so uh, our final converted value will be 7 d 4 this is our hexadecimal value so for your conversion for your practice you have to solve then discuss it with me